Museum is, of course, the crocodiles. They've had a very, very long history here. I reckon we should take a look behind the scenes and see the real stars of the show. Come have a look. Before I take you down in amongst all the crocodiles, I thought I'd show you what it looks like from up top so you can see Dad's vision in reality. We've got the seven crocodiles lined up all the way down here. Bluey all the way to Scrapper. In the enclosures themselves, where the crocodiles spend most of their time, we've just developed a new system. We're actually using what's called an ozone system. So there's no chlorine whatsoever. It's completely natural, fresh water. And you can see in Charlie's enclosure how it's a little bit cloudy there. And then in Murray's enclosure, there's that little bit of algae on the bottom. That is actually a great sign. That is exactly what we want. And this is the most natural way we can have crocodiles. So this is actually really, really good for our beautiful family of crocs. So the crocosseum is down that way, but out the back here, this is where it all happens. I'll give you an example with Charlie here. We've got this gate just there that opens and closes, and this little winch system here, we can open this up and most of the time when showtime comes around, all of the male crocodiles are sitting right at the gate. They're so keen. That croc will cross this little land bridge here and then follow the canal system all the way up and around and then straight out into that main arena. The crocodiles here at Australia Zoo, they do move around quite a bit. But we've got the four original crocs here, and that's of course Graham, Charlie, Murray and Monty. And I thought I'd share the story with these particularly special crocodiles, starting with Graham. Graham and Bindi are sitting in there. Now, Bindi is Graham's little wife, and interestingly, my sister is actually named after this crocodile. And here's this little baby girl of gone, Bindi after my favourite crocodile, Bing. Graham is uh, a little bit cheeky, shall we say. He's actually the only crocodile to have uh, gotten the better of us a couple of times. Um, he bit Dad on the hand, and there's some crazy footage. While Dad was actually moving Graham, he's right next to the water's edge. He's got a rope in one hand to move him. Graham comes up, whack, grabs him, pulls him straight back into the water. And luckily, Dad landed on Graham, which was enough for Graham to let go. Graham's never forgiven me for getting away with just a wounded hand. Now, the next crocodile. Charlie was originally from uh, a little aquarium. He was kind of in this sort of concrete pit. And he was destined to be sent to a croc farm. And that's something we were very much against. We couldn't have that happen. He would have been turned into boots, bags and belts. Mum managed to convince Dad to actually rescue him and give him a wonderful life here at Australia Zoo. He's copped a lot of tormenting in his life. Now he gets to be the king of his territory. And here he is, Charlie, one year later and behaving just like a crocodile. Here is Murray and uh, he is a really cool croc. He is the most reliable crocodile in the crocosseum. You always know, every single time he comes out, he is gonna give it 110%. There's some footage where Dad's feeding him and Murray's head is above his. He is a real goer. And even though he's put on a lot of size, he's still remained a very smart and very agile quick croc. He is the absolute athlete amongst the crocodiles here. But last but not least, we've got possibly my very favourite crocodile in the entire crocosseum, and that would have to be Monty. Monty was actually the first big saltwater crocodile that Australia Zoo ever had. Monty, he really gives those incredible side swings. That's what he really loves. So he really shows that kind of stalking behaviour. He'll be really nice and slow. He'll pop up. His little eyes will come up above the surface and he'll give that really quick strike straight to the side. And even though he's big and real bulky, he's still so quick on a dime. Of 
course, there's more crocodiles that we have in here. I could spend all day talking about them, but those four are our real stars and the guys that have been here since day one, the crocodiles that Dad originally started working with. It's so wonderful that we get to continue all of this work that he started, and it is such an honour working with the crocs that he originally fed. And hopefully, one day, all of you guys can come in here and watch a show for yourself. I reckon, one thing left to say, crocs rule!